How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another triple review on the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day today. Uh, in the UK, lots of snow about, so just be careful on the roads. You might slip, you might break your leg, or something like that. But today, lads, we've got three reviews, and they are future stars. We've got Loon in the Nets, uh, left back Diego Dalot. Uh, I know Diego Dalot is going to get a right back card in the future as well, but it's all about links with those two cards. But we're going to review Dalot today, and we're going to review. Harvey Barnes. We're going to review Barnes too. So Andre Lunin looks okay. He looks like a standard goalkeeper. But lads, if you do enjoy this review, you know what to do. To get more of these out and stuff like that, you like and you interact. That is simple logistics. Don't even know that's the words. But uh, like the video if you do enjoy. It's free reviews today. It's free uh, for your enjoyment. All in one video. All detailed and stuff like that. It's all games played. Um, and yeah, hopefully you do enjoy it. So like the video. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Out of these three, who would you most likely purchase? Who would you most likely go for? And who are you looking at getting uh, in terms of the future stars? Of course, a new team on Friday and stuff like that. SBC came out last night. I think it was Consaldes. Someone like that. Asher Lunin, um, he's got 84 diving, 87 handling, 84 kicking, 87 reflexes, 89 positioning. Now, this is quite standard for goalkeepers on this game. He's 6 foot 4 in terms of height, so he's quite of a similar height to Galaxy. I think Galaxy is like 6 foot 3, so if you want to compare him to other keepers, it's most likely comparable to uh, Galaxy. Now, straight away, with Harvey Barnes, you see the goal score record, he's got 8 in 5 games with 1 assist. But you're looking at the skill moves, it's 3 star. Now, what you're gravitating towards that is, I can't do the 4 star skills, I can't do this, I can't do that. But, he's got other qualities that will enhance your game on this, well, game. Uh, he's got 4 star weak foot as well, and look at these stats. Uh, these are great, great stats for any card in this game. He's got 93 acceleration, 90 sprint speed. I used the Hunter Chem style on him to kind of boost those up. By the way, on Lunin, I think I use Glove, or Basic, I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, it takes his finish in 99, because the position I used Harvey Barnes in was not at wide, not as a cam. I actually used him as a striker in the formation that I was playing. And lads, he worked really well in that role, especially with the 4 star weak foot and stuff. 4 star skills does hinder him quite a bit, but uh, we'll get into that more during the gameplay and during the summary at the end of the video. Uh, he's passing, it's okay, and his dribbling is very, very good as well. I've got to say, his shooting is kind of like cracked. You look at uh, Gio Reyna, reviewed him yesterday. Uh, Gio Reyna's shooting on this game is just broken beyond belief. And this guy's shooting is nutsy as well. And you'll see that once we hit the gameplay. Outside the foot shot is his only trade. As to Diogo Dalots, of course, he is left back right now. And straight away, I see an issue. I, I don't know if you guys see an issue. But he's right foot at left back with a free start weak farts. He can't really play those balls down the lane. Where I used his cards was um, a centre back actually. I used him as a centre back, and he performed really, really well. But I did try a few of those balls down the line to get in uh, the left side of the players. It didn't really work too, too well. Uh, I used an anchor camp style on him to boost his defending, physical, and the pace. Uh, he's got 87 acceleration, 89 sprint speed. He's very rapid on this game, and he can cover a lot of ground. He's got height and medium work rates. So again, as a centre back, it's not ideal. But you look at the other height and mediums. I think Sergio Ramos also has height to medium. His dribbling is sensational for a fullback on this game and a centre back because that is where you can play him too. He is versatile, defending is sensational, and his physicals are nutty. As for the traits that Diogo Dalot brings to the table, he brings. Injuries. He brings injuries, boys. But lads, we're going to get into the gameplay right now. I'm going to showcase three of these players, and you know how it works. It's split up into segments, and you guys will see the players that we're featuring on the left highlighted when we do get into those players. So on we go into the highlights. We're going to start with Lunin in net, because we're going from left, well, well the thumbnail. We'll get, we're going from left to right on the thumbnail. Uh, but Lunin played 10 games for me. Actually packed them on treble too, so I probably will use them in the future. Is he prone to mistakes? Yes. Is he going to concede goals? Yes. Is he like every single keeper on this game? Yes. The only difference that he brings to the table is that his traits, he rushes out uh, somewhat, but his rush now is good positioning wise. It's just his speed isn't that great in terms of rushing out. I think it's like 49 or something like that. Uh, so rushing out and uh, closing down the angles. Um, he's good at, but he doesn't do it too quickly. It's just positioning-wise is very, very good. Uh, through ball here, he comes rushing out, and it's a great save by Lunin on said occasion. Well, lads, goalkeepers on this game, and one of the main reasons why I don't do reviews on goalkeepers is some goalkeepers are good, some keepers are... Not good, but it's all perception with goalkeepers, you know what I'm saying? Um, they all make the same mistakes. They all are hindered by the same mechanics on this game. Lunin is no different. Ashley Barnes playing in a more forward role. This is Grealish on the ball, playing it in to Ashley Barnes, and he does get his debut goal. Nice little right foot finish in the back of the net right there, but he can score on both feet. Like I said, 
Five games played, eight goals scored, one assist. He was incredible for me, and he's very, very effective in game. He's very fast. 93 acceleration, 90 sprint speed. He's very quick on the mark. He's very quick at doing stuff like this, getting on either foot, and then just bursting. And um, he's good at doing that, man. He's very good at doing that. Strength wise, it's not always there with Harvey Barnes. As he does finish there into the back of the net because his strength is only 75 and 60 for the aggression. So it's not going to work too, too well. And one of the hindrances with his cards is the lack of four star skills because. As a forward player, normally, like, you don't need them, but it benefits you because it adds to your game. But when you can score from anywhere, like this guy, can be reminded me of Luis Suarez when it comes to finishing. Luis Suarez doesn't have four-star skills uh, in terms of the prior ones. His, his recent one does. Yeah, he's got four-star, four-star in his recent one. But he reminded me of finishing-wise of Luis Suarez. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Jack Grealish on the ball now. He plays it back in Harvey Barnes. What a finish. Honestly, Harvey Barnes is really good in this game. And he surprised me. I was actually live streaming this over on uh, Facebook as well. And uh, he just impressed me so, so much. I was like saying, right, this, this card's kind of a little bit broken. Because every time I took a shot, it was flying into the back of the net. And it didn't know, well, it matter what angle I was at. It didn't matter the distance. It didn't matter the shot type. It was just flying in the net every single time. Seeing me win the ball back in midfield with Rooney. Playing it in Harvey Barnes. First time shots. That is late on as well. I think that was like the 100. I, I, I'm sure that was extra time. I'm sure that was extra time. 100 and something minutes. But again, he comes up clutch. So his composure is okay. It's 85. And he can come up with those clutch moments. As for clutch goals, take a deeks at that. Woohoo! That is naughty. That is naughty. Nice little finesse there. I created like a 45 degree angle towards my own net. I thought, you know what, these shots don't normally go in, so let's try it. Harvey Barnes pulled it off, a great finesse there from Harvey Barnes. And that finishes Harvey Barnes' section as we move on to your Diogo Dalot. This guy impressed me. He probably impressed me um, quite uh, out of this bunch. I didn't expect him he was going to be good, especially as a centre-back, because I was playing 3-5-2. Um, lads, he was in there for the challenge. His position was fan fantastic, flawless. Do I think he could play left-back? Yes. Uh, do I think, he, again, he's going to be hindered? Of course, because... Freestyle weak foot and his right foot, and um, he's passing, uh, I don't think his long passing is good, but again, just watch out for things like that, because uh, whipping it down the line, very effective on this game, Diogo Dalot can't really do that, his blocks, his interceptions, his tackling is all absolutely fantastic with Diogo Dalot, and uh, I played five games in total with Dalot in foot champions, and he did really, really well, as um, we move on here, I thought I got the challenge in, didn't get the challenge in, got the challenge in there, and uh, we do get the ball clear, but Dalot really impressed me, Barnes really impressed me. Lunin. It's it's tough on goalkeepers, man. It's tough on goalkeepers on this game. They need to really stand out. And as you guys know in this game, goalkeepers, they don't always stand out. Keeper came out there. Dalot blocks a shot from going in the back of the net. Very, very good interception. And um, I went sliding in there just to position myself for the next challenge. Won the ball back. But lads, get, let's uh, we'll get into the summary. Uh, let's get into the summary. Let's uh, give ratings to each and every single one of these three future stars. So there we have it, lads, for Harvey Barnes, <laughs> Lunin, and Diogo Dalot. Um, yeah, we're going from left to right right now, and we're going to explain. In the boxes, by the way, I'm not too sure it's going to be gameplay. Like, three different sets of gameplay, because last time I did it, literally took like half an hour to render, and I've got a beast PC. I don't know why it did that. Uh, but so we'll start with Lunin, boys. He's 60k on the Xbox and on the PlayStation. So quite cheap. In comparison to someone like a Thibaut Courtois, it's not that bad. Of course, he's got the same links as Courtois, apart from the French. Uh, he links into Varane, Ramos, stuff like that. And we'll get into that in just a second. Uh, I changed the passing, the shooting, physical, and dribbling uh, to diving, handling, reflexes, and kicking. Uh, his diving is good. He reaches a lot of um, the corners and stuff like that. So it's a seven. I think it's his height that benefits him there. Six foot four. His handling is good. Normally, he doesn't parry the shots. So you would see in the highlights, uh, I showcased him just being the same as every other keeper, but normally he does uh, hold on to the ball, which is very beneficial for keepers on this game. Uh, reflexes, he's going to get an ace. He's very agile. He's very uh, good at the reaction stops, especially when closing players down and uh, saving it at their feet. Uh, his kicking is amazing. And that is down to his, his distribution. His distribution, his long throw, is sensational. Overall, I'd probably give him an eight. Uh, I reckon he's quite average as a goalkeeper in this game. And keepers, they're average anyways. You could probably use um, like a similar player, Inform Galaxy, and get the same results out of uh, Galaxy as you do Lunin. Uh, value for coins, 9.2. He's a, he, I see the value in this card because he's a special card, he's a future star, um, and compared to Courtois, he's another option for you guys. Enjoyment, 7.2. Keepers, 
the goalkeepers. Uh, his height will be a pro. His reaction stage will be on. Rushing out crosses, like claiming them, stuff like that. Very good. Positioning, 89. Reflex is 87, of course. Distribution is sensational. And that's down to his long throw. Um, he's still prone to errors, like any other goalkeeper in this game. And what sets him aside for someone like Team Leon Neuer is Neuer's got speed. He comes off his line so, so quick. Whereas someone like Lunin, he doesn't come off too, too quick with his 49 speed. Similar play Galaxy, recommend the links. Varane, that's your job. Vamos, Ramos. Uh, Harvey Barnes. We'll move on to Harvey Barnes right in the middle right now. A sports in on the PlayStation 420 on the Xbox. I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 for passing, 8 for shooting and dribbling with a 6 for physical. He's let down the physical category by strength, aggression and jumping, which does let him down. Uh, but... He's going to get a 9.2 overall rating from myself. He's a really, really effective card in this game. And with him being effective cards, you can link him to a lot of English players. And uh, you can have fun with his cards. And he was really, really enjoyable for me. Some of the goals, mesmerizing. Uh, he's going to get an 8.0 value for coins because it's a bit pricey for someone with a 4-star... Well, a lack of four-star skills. So, um, yes, it's a bit pricey, boy. It's a bit pricey. Enjoyment will be a 9.4, though. Had a lot of fun with his cards. His pace... Is amongst the pros, along with his movement, his shooting, his agility, his dribbling. I've spelled dribbling wrong with one B. A stamina positioning and long shots. His strength and three-star skills are amongst the cons. Uh, Same player, Serge Nabry, minus the four-star skills. I recommend the links, of course. You can get a perfect link into uh, Madison, Jamie Vardy. Plenty of options at Leicester right there. And uh, if you want to hybridize it out to a different league or something like that, Jaden Sancho, for example. Um, Diego Dalos, we'll get on to Dalot last. He's 70k. On the PlayStation, he's 60k on the Xbox. A bargain. Absolute bargain. Uh, he's got a 6 out of 10 for passing and shooting with 8 for physical and a 7 for dribbling. But I honestly reckon this is a bargain buy. Uh, he's getting an 8.9 overall rating. He's very effective at the centre-back role. And uh, he could easily play left-back. Just watch out um, for the passing down the line. Just watch out for that because the freestyle weak parts and um, stuff like that. And he's right foot primarily will hinder the cards in terms of the passes down the line. Valve coins, however... 9.7. I honestly reckon it's a bargain buy. Uh, enjoyment will be a 9.2. Had a lot of fun with this card. He's got the pace, position, and tackling. Uh, interceptions unlock. Aggression. Uh, dribbling. Spelled it right on that one. Heading. Defensive awareness. And the freestyle. We put the similar players. Uh, Torreira. I know Torreira's left foot is... But he's quite similar in the way he can play. He's very versatile. I reckon Dalot could easily play like CDM or something like that. Just watch out for his passing. Uh, recommend the links... AC Milan, of course. You've got Kessie. You could go Portuguese with Cristiano Ronaldo. Especially on that right-back version, you can get a strong link into... Um, well, Tonali could be in there, too. But uh, you get a strong link into Cristiano Ronaldo, the right-wing version. And uh, the other links are weak links. You can go abroad for different Portuguese. Or you can go in the same nation for someone like Ribery, if you did complete the SBC. But, guys, that's going to be it for this free review today. Free times review. I uh, hope you have enjoyed of... Um, uh, my opinions on uh, Lunin, Harvey Barnes, and Dalos. Let me know uh, your opinions on these three players in the comment section below. But thank you very much for joining me today. Um, when this goes live, I believe I'll be streaming. So if you don't do want to come and join me streaming, fb.gg forward slash martial 89 hd come across. But thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff, boys. And I will catch you all next time.